I'm Matt Clayman. Some days we really need to take a break from legislative life and remember people who have made such a difference for Alaska. Katie Hurley was one of those people. She was a great Alaskan, and this past weekend she died. She was 99 years old, just a, just a few weeks shy of her 100th birthday, and she gave so much to Alaska over her life. She was secretary to the Constitutional Convention in 1955 and 56, and now with Katie's death, the only remaining participant in the Constitutional Convention is Vic Fisher. And Katie brought so much to our state. She, she was a giant of Alaska history. And one of the great parts about living in Alaska is not just that we have these giants of our state's history, but for so many years, they were still involved in our state and we got to meet them and get to know them. And Katie was a person who stayed involved in the community. Music was a huge part of her life. She played the piano at her church into her 80s on Sunday mornings, playing the hymns with the choir because she loved music so much. You could also see her with her grandchildren when they would have their piano recitals. She would be there smiling proudly, loving the music that she got to hear. That was the Katie Hurley that we all got to know over many years. She stayed politically active over the years. You, you could count on Katie to come to fundraisers. You could count on her to be in campaign commercials. She was in campaign commercials into her 90s. She was also somebody who, who cared deeply about how women could make a difference in the community, and she was so proud to have served in the State House, and proud to have served as Secretary to the Senate, and proud to have been the first woman nominee for Lieutenant Governor in a statewide election. Those were some of Katie's contributions. John F. Kennedy came to Alaska, and Katie was very involved in the Democratic Party at the time, and so she got a call one morning, would you be available? to have breakfast with John Kennedy. And she said, of course. And so she bundled up her kids and they went to a restaurant in the Matsu and John Kennedy met them and they spent an hour talking about Alaska and talking about, about the country and talking about John Kennedy's challenges and all the things he'd been through. That was one of her proudest moments. And so when you see people like Katie Hurley and all the things she's brought to Alaska, we recognize not only the loss that comes with her death, but also all the great contributions that she made to Alaska. When we lose someone like Katie who has given so much, it's important to know that she lives in our memory and her memory lives with us. Thanks, Katie, for all you've done for Alaska.